First game is against Richard Bauer. He's 2275 feet A. We played my favorite Sicilian. He played Bishop B5. Uh, in my course, I suggest a line that I don't play because I think it's easier for you guys. Um, but I play E6. And uh, my course should be coming out in about th uh, three weeks on Chessable. Okay, he took. I've had this before, 97. I don't know if I faced rookie one before. I faced knight c3 and d3 and h4 and b3. I don't. I can't say I faced rookie one. I don't know. Okay, so I played knight g6, and the point is, white wants to. Black wants to play e5, and so white can play e5. But he played d4, which is really. I mean, it's suboptimal. Uh, for the way white's playing white's playing giving up the two bishops to destroy black's pawn structure and then he undestroys it immediately so he's playing an open sicilian where he's played bishop b5 and takes for like no reason so d4 doesn't make any sense if you're gonna give up the two bishops and ruin your opponent's pawn structure so now I, now the engine already prefers black engine wants to take with the queen since i can't play knight c6 Yeah, the engine already says black has a big advantage. I don't have those messed up pawns on the queen side. And I play f5. I like playing f5 in this opening because I always fianchetto my bishop since my opponent traded off their bishop. It's hard to get the pawn off of c6 because black's pawn is on c5, but he let me trade it and then play c5. So now it was easy. Okay, so I've already seizing the initiative. Took, took with the rook. He attacked my rook, but I saw it. Moved my rook away. Knight e4. Bishop b7. I mean, he's close to lost here because my, my rook is good. My bishop is good. My knight has two good squares. Um, he doesn't have any center pawns. And I have the two bishops. So his position is like already very bad. Okay, he played bishop e3, attacking my pawn, but I saw it. Played rook c8. Knight d6, and this is a blunder that loses the game. I don't really blame him. I mean, knight d6 looks good. Um, but he has to play something more passive, like queen b3 or queen g4. And then he's not necessarily losing, but his game isn't very good. Knight d6 just loses the game. It's a faux aggressive. Hey, Abdul Rahman, how are you doing? So I take, and then I play knight h4, and there's, there's no defense to g2. There's no good defense. And the engine already says I'm plus three. There's just nothing he can do about his king getting destroyed now. Nice bishop on b7. Okay, he played f3, which you should never do. And I played the engine recommended knight takes g2, because I'm going to checkmate him. He took, I took with the rook. Now I'm threatening rook everywhere winning, but mainly rook takes e3, check. So it's funny, he actually played the engine move in this position because if he plays something like king g1, which like looks obvious to me, like that's what I would think of, uh, I play queen h4 and I mean, I'm just gonna play rook here and rook f2 and queen g4 check. Queen g4 checks winning immediately if it's my move. And there's just no defense. There's nothing he can do. So I'm gonna, I could either build with this or play queen g4 check. And his king is just totally open. So he actually played the right move here, played knight d5. That blocks the connection uh, to my rook. So if I take his knight, he can play king takes rook. Okay, I played rook f6. Now his knight's pinned. He played queen e5. I took his knight. He took back. If he plays something like bishop g5, which looks good, then I just play rook g6. Or I could play d4 check first, but I don't, I don't know why. And then I'm completely winning. 
So he took back. I checked. He put his king in the corner. Nobody puts his king in the corner except him. Now queen f6. And the idea is, if he takes my queen, I don't take back. I play bishop takes d5 check, which leads to checkmate. So he played queen e4. I played queen h4. The engine says I should play queen f7, attacking the d-pawn. Again, if he takes my queen, I, I take on d5. And after queen h4, he resigned. So I guess queen h4 is okay. Um, I'm not sure what he can do if he doesn't resign. I can play the engine moves, see how that goes. Uh, bishop f4 is the top engine move. And then rook f8. And then, ugh. yeah, I don't know. See, if he ever moves his bishop, I can trade queens and take this and win his rook. So the engine says rook f1. I don't know what the engine says here. And resigns. Yeah, it says I just take this next move and I'm a piece up. So it says I'm plus seven. Seems like I'm more than that. I need a better engine. So after queen h4, he resigned. Yeah, he didn't do that. So that was one of my favorite games because I sacked knight takes g2 and I just rolled over him. And he didn't do anything that necessarily looked terrible. He just didn't have the right ideas in the opening and had a worse position. And then knight d6 just lost because my attack is too strong. Also, I think we've all learned a lesson here. In this position, never play f3. Although f3 is the second best move. But I'm, I'm plus 4.5 now. So. so that was a nice, easy game. I got f5 in to open the f-file. I got c5 in to open the diagonal. And then I used that to my advantage and I won. Go, Ben.